everybody. Today I have a little sneak peek for you for a new project that I'm making. It's a mini album and this is with the Graphic 45 Imagine Collection. Now in this album I designed the chipboard cover that you see here. It is already decorated with the Graphic 45 paper but today I'm going to show you the process of how I created this cover in Lightburn. And then I'm going to give you a little preview of my brand new Mira 7 laser cutting my chipboard cover out. I call her Mimi, so you're going to get to meet Mimi and see her in action. So stay tuned. I have my Lightburn software up and ready to go. And my design is already on my screen. I didn't want to sit and design this on screen. That would take quite some time. This is a chipboard cover and embellishments for a mini album that I am currently designing and making. So the first thing that I need to do is switch my Wi-Fi from my home Wi-Fi network to my Mira 7. I am going to go and switch my Mira on so it will be a bit louder for this next step. And now you will see that I am connected to my Mira. So next, I'm going to send my job, and I'm just going to leave the name Imagine. And now my file is sent to my laser, so we are going to go over there and prepare everything to cut next. Meet Mimi. This is my brand new Mira 7. We are going to turn her on and start our project. So I have my material already on my bed. Now I'm going to just move where I want this to start. Before I do anything else though, I am going to auto-focus my material. design on the display and ready to go. I'm going to frame to make sure it's going to fit and it looks good. So now I'm going to turn on my external air. It's going to get really loud in here. I'm going to actually move the sound until this is finished. And here we go.
so this is it. The job is complete. It took 7 minutes and 25 seconds. We'll see all of these little pieces though in here that are blowing everywhere. So I am going to make some changes to my settings in Lightburn and come back and do something different to make this easier. We are back in Lightburn with our design and I am going to add some hold-in tabs to parts of my designs that were popping out from the external blower. So I'm going to be using this feature here and I'm just going to be creating some tabs on each of my pieces where they were blowing out. So my butterflies and my roses were both blowing out. And there are two layers here, which is why I'm putting two tabs in. And I just want to have a little bit of stability on these pieces. I don't need a ton. I just don't want them blowing. So once that's finished, I can go ahead and select everything on the screen. I'll come back to my hold in tabs and you'll see where all of these little tabs are on all of my pieces. So I have saved this file. I'm going to go ahead and send it to my Mira. I've also changed the layers so that it's going to engrave first and then it's going to cut second. Then we'll go over to Mimi and I will show you take two of my cover. Now this time when I come in here and look at all the pieces, you'll see that for the most part, everything is still in there except for this one piece. So that hold down tab for that one didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. But everything else is in place and all that's blown off of the actual chipboard are the little garbage pieces that I will not need anyway. So a much better way to cut than the first try. So now my pieces are out of my chipboard, but these ones that have the little hold down tabs are still in, which is good. I want these to be able to stay in until I need them. I do see a couple, like this one has, I must have put one in there. So I'm gonna have to go through and make some adjustments, but for the most part, everything looks pretty good. These pieces, I have some hold down tabs in places that I don't need them. Like I don't need this piece to be in here and this came out of my design. So I'm going to need to change those tabs on just my gears here. These ones look like they're good, which is nice. And I can just go ahead and pop these out nice and easily because those tabs are pretty small overall. Now I'm going to take all of these chipboard pieces and turn them into a complete album.
And the album will look like this when it's finished. So this is just the album cover. I am working on the pages on the inside, but you will see we've got the label here. We've got this piece, so that's these two pieces. We've got the flowers here and the flowers on the spine. We've got the butterfly spine and the butterfly pieces. I haven't used any of these embellishments yet, but they will be on the inside. Opening up, we've got the start of an album. I hope you have enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek into the process of creating my new mini album cover. If you did, leave a comment in the description box below, and if you'd like to see more content like this, let me know. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.